Well, hello artists and welcome to day 44. It is Sunday today and as you can hear I'm still a little bit chesty. I've decided to do something different for today. I did a little talk on the importance of painting for longevity, but I've decided it's a little bit boring for you to just sit and watch me talk. So I've been painting this morning, so I've recorded what I was doing, and I'll put that in the background so that you can watch what I'm doing while you're listening to what I'm saying. So you can do what you want to do. everybody for the well wishes they sent me. For those of you who don't know, I've been a little bit ill over the last couple of days. I still sound a little bit nasal and a bit chesty and please forgive me for that, but I'm feeling much better. Thank you very much. You know, what you've got to remember as an artist, you may not be a famous artist. I may not be a famous artist. I can probably quite confidently say that in 100 or 200 years, nobody's going to know my name and nobody's going to have any one of my paintings. But what I can t tell you with a certain amount of certainty is that my grandchildren and possibly even their children are going to have my paintings. Your paintings are going to be valued by somebody, probably an extended member of, member of your family down the line for a very long time to come, whether you're a famous artist or not. So to use a good quality paint is a good idea, whether you're painting for longevity or not. Now on the lines of valuing paintings, I have to tell you, yesterday I finished the little seascape that you might have seen. Now I'm not very big on seascape painting, I tend to do a lot more portrait and figurative painting. I did that just because it was a photograph that I had taken while walking on the beach with a friend of mine and I just enjoyed the photograph and I've always had it put aside, one day I'm going to paint that and I figured today was the day and, and I got started. Particularly because I was ill and I couldn't really talk on camera. But the point I'm trying to make is that before I'd even finished the painting, my husband came and stood behind me and looked over my shoulder. Him and I have very different tastes in art. And he looked over my shoulder and he said to me, what are you going to do with that? And straight away I knew, because John, the highest compliment I ever get from John is, oh, you're doing good, babe. And then I know John's really, really enthusiastic about what I'm painting. But if John comes and asks me what I'm doing with that painting, then I know he, he wants it. And, and he wants it for himself. And that is high, high, high praise. So he came and stood behind me and he looked over my shoulder. What are you going to do with that, babe? And I said, I don't know, do you want it? He said, yes, please, it's mine. <laughs> now, there's an example of a painting that's going to be cherished. And, you know, another example is I've, I've got a, an art room full of paintings that I've done that I've cast aside. And just the other day, my daughter came to me, my youngest daughter came to me and she said to me, Mom, can I hang some of your canvases in my, art, in my bedroom? I said, yes, of course, love. Which one do you want? And she said, well, no, you tell me which one I can have. So there's a big painting of a horse, for example. And I said, well, that one, I know you like it, so you can have it. Oh, really? Can I have it? I love that painting. Now, there's a painting that's going to be cherished by her for the rest of her life. And she's 13 years old, so she's got a long time to go. And that painting is going to have to last her for all those years. So it's a good idea that even though it's not my favorite painting and I don't feel that I did my best work on it, she loves it. And it's her mother's. And she's probably going to hand it down to her children. And they might even hand it down to their children and until finally one day it falls apart and ends up in the trash heap. But it's going to be cherished by somebody for a very long time. So even your dud paintings, take care of them. Nurture them and hand them to somebody that's going to love them because... Your family, more than anything else, your family are going to cherish whatever it is that you do, even if you don't think it's a good painting. Simply because it was painted by you, because it was painted by somebody that they love, they are going to love it, they are going to cherish it. So you cherish your paintings for their sake.
following this painting right the way through to the end and when it's complete you would have had a, heard a couple of talks as well so i hope you enjoy i hope you will like and share and i will see you on the other side of this painting that's what you want to do